Now let's break down our breaking story of the day. Macro guru Raul Powell is predicting the Bitcoin market to 10x from here and is extremely bullish. So here's what the macro guru has to share. Macro guru Raul Powell says that the retail investors have a chance to get ahead of the venture capitalists and blue chip investors before the crypto market skyrockets. Let's freaking go. In a brand new interview on the overpriced JPEG podcast, the former Goldman Sachs executive says that for the first time, retail traders are scooping up crypto assets before the institutional investors place their positions. Now, isn't it interesting how many people were involved with Goldman Sachs? You got SEC chairman Gary Gensler, you got Raul Powell, you got Scaramucci, and trust me, they run ish over on Wall Street, and they're all connected some way, somehow, which makes it even that much more interesting. But anyways, quoting the macro guru, we have never been given the opportunity to own the infrastructure layer and own it before the institutions. I always talk about this. We are front running the institutions, and it's not like it's some mass illusion or delusion. I know it because I speak to them all day. They are all coming. All the investors are are coming and we get the privilege for the first time in our lives to own this because everything else is venture capital. That's right. Early stage is VC. And to invest into VC, you need to be an accredited investor. Not only that, but most VC funds won't take you unless you've got a certain amount of capital. So it just knocks everybody out of the actual largest part of the economic high that gets made. And then eventually something goes public. And only a few of those companies make a lot of money. So we're disadvantaged as ordinary people. Facts. Paul goes on to describe the risk curve associated with the digital assets, saying that it is very much like the risk curve of traditional assets during tough market times. He also likens Ethereum to the U.S. economy, a growing ecosystem rife with activity. Quoting him again, right now, as the economy slows down, the Fed starts cutting. People will buy treasury bills, bonds, and then they'll buy corporate bonds. Then they'll buy the junk bonds, and they'll buy emerging market junk bonds, and then they'll buy the private credit. That's the risk curve. It is exactly the same in cryptocurrency. So the first part of crypto spring, people buy Bitcoin, And then when they get a bit of confidence and things are working, they go down to Ethereum and Ethereum starts outperforming Bitcoin. And before you know it, you start to go down the risk curve, the good projects, Solana or whatever in the middle, like Polygon, Matic and whatever else starts doing well. And then you go to cowboy land and you go to everything. That's the risk curve. What's really interesting is once you start to understand that crypto is an economy, it's just a digital nation state. And Ethereum is actually the layer of the nation states. The Bitcoin economy has more money, but actually it's like Switzerland, right? Just like old people storing their money. Well, Ethereum, there are a lot of stuff going on. And so the Ethereum economy acts like the U.S. economy. So there you have it, fam. This is coming directly from Raul Powell, the macro guru. And to watch this recent interview he just did, check the show notes below the video in the description. And another highlight of Max Kaiser's short-term prediction for the King Crypto, for those just joining us, Max says, new all-time highs for Bitcoin and then 220000 before the hash-adjusted implied price in the mid $300,000. So send it and let's freaking go. If that gets you excited, let me know, fam. And I greatly appreciate everyone's support.